What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hater at Cowboy. I've got another unboxing for you today. The Yamo S803 bookshelf speakers. Let's get to it. All right guys, I got the box open already. Don't shoot me, it's still an unboxing. So let's get into it and see what we got. I'm gonna move this to the side. All right, so we got some literature here. So it looks like we have warranty information. So you'll wanna, you're gonna wanna keep that, read that later. And then we got, have a manual, Studio 8 Series. Just kind of gives you a walkthrough of the components. If you have other speakers on the line, even shows you how to speaker placement, but I don't need that. So and then we have a couple other things we don't need, but there are some are some screws in here I don't know if you can if you can see that but I'm assuming that's for mounting options so we'll come back to that later I'm gonna set this plastic down in here we've got speaker grills set those to the side and then we got our speakers so I'll try to get this out of here One. And two. And everything comes really nice and packed, guys. There's some good thick styrofoam that comes in the box on top and on bottom. So it doesn't move around during shipment. I'm gonna set that to the side. And let's take these covers off. All right. Look at that. Turn that around so you can see. That is a nice speaker. Get the second one off. Take a look at that, guys. That is a nice speaker. Man, this is really nice. This is nice vinyl wrapped. It's very smooth. It has a slight kind of a sheen to it. It's black. So I chose the black. There was a choice between black, white, and I think like a gray, heather gray or brown or something like that. I can't remember. But actually this one was the cheapest one. So on Amazon right now, at the time of this unboxing, this speaker pair is normally $329. They're on sale for 56% off. I paid $150 for this pair, including taxes, shipped. So hopefully by the time that this gets uploaded on YouTube, they're still on sale. Go check them out, guys. This is a great deal. They also have some other crazy sales on the same line of speakers, the towers, and I think the subwoofer and even a center channel. So go check that out, man. This, you can't beat that. And the reason why I picked these up is because... I'm going to be reviewing them and they're going to be a part of my new series on the channel home theater under two hundred dollars because i want to help you the viewer if you're just getting started on your home theater journey or if you're you've had a home theater for a while and you don't want to spend a lot of money or whatever the case may be i want to help you find products that are under two hundred dollars to help you on your home theater journey like I said, if you're just getting started and you have a very, very tight budget and you need something to get started and you can upgrade later. Now, technically these speakers aren't under $200 normally. Like I said, they're $329, but since they're on sale, I'm still gonna put it on the series. And $329 for a pair of speakers this quality isn't bad either. But let's take a look. So I'm gonna turn that around this these are by far the nicest speakers that I've had bookshelf speakers that I've had in 
any home theater that I've had. So let's take a look at the front. So on the front, we have our five inch woofer and we have our one inch dome tweeter and then we have our port. And that's very good because they're bookshelf speakers, which means they're, people are probably gonna be putting this on a shelf up against the wall. Or if you wanna hang these on the wall, you can go as close as you want to if you're gonna put them on a stand because the port is in the front and not in the back. I really like it when speaker companies put the port on the front because it gives you so much more room for placement. And you can see it's got this contrast. It's kind of like, I guess supposed to be like a wood grain. So that looks really, really nice. I really like that. And it's got a nice heft to it as well. And then on the back, so on the back, we have two sets of binding posts. You have your regular binding posts that are gonna plug in to your speaker, whether it's you know your front, your rear surrounds, whatever. But on the top, we have the Dolby Atmos speaker terminals. And this is the first bookshelf speaker that I've seen that has terminals for Dolby Atmos height modules. And then on the top is where you would screw those speakers in. Don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's gonna be in focus, but there are four, four or four areas on top where you can screw in the speakers. And then we have your mounting bracket. And that's where these guys come in. Oh, I'm missing one. There it is. Okay, so those would fit in here like this. And I'm assuming that these are wood screws. I don't think these are sheetrock screws. Looks like these are wood screws, so you would, you know, obviously screw these into your stud. But if you wanted to hang these on some type of mounting, mounting bracket on your wall in the sheetrock, I would suggest going to Home Depot and getting some sheetrock um, you can buy sheetrock screws but what i'm thinking of it'll come to me later but so what i'm thinking of is sheetrock anchors so you have the anchor that screws into the wall and then you have a screw that screws into the anchor and then you can hang whatever you want on those and those are like the ones i buy are usually like 50 pounds and I th i've seen a 75 there may be 100 but these things aren't, I don't remember the, the weight, but I'll put everything up on the screen so that you can see the measurements, probably somewhere around here. But very, very nice quality. And I like the black, you know, it's not gonna be, I don't think these things are gonna be reflecting any type of light. Like I said, there, there, there is a slight little sheen to it, so you may get some light reflection, but it's not gonna be much. And if your room is light controlled, I don't think you're gonna have any issues. So let's take a look at the grills. Put these back in my pocket. Now these grills are magnetic and I really like the color of these grills. It's got this grayish, kind of like heather gray with the light gray mixed in between. So I believe this goes Oh, of course, I need to turn it around. Come on, Jordan. So, flip that around. And it just sticks on because it's a magnet. So, there are the speakers with the grills on top, or on front. And then if we turn it to the side, it's got this Yamo writing. Oh, and it looks like my speaker is a little bit damaged. It's got a scratch. No, it's not damaged, just, <clears throat> I think it's just some little glue or something that'll come off. But if you take a look at the bottom, you've also got this vinyl, makes it look like it's wood grain. And then you've got some speaker pads that are glued on to help it not slide around and so it doesn't scratch whatever you're putting it on and it doesn't get scratched. Now for comparison, <clears throat> I'm currently reviewing the ELAC BS 
41 BK bookshelf speakers, I believe. But just to show you a comparison of what that looks like, let me get one. So check that out. Look how much bigger the Yamo speakers are. So bigger doesn't always mean better in home theater, but I'm assuming that these, um, these look like they're, I can already tell that these are a nicer quality speaker. They look like they're built very well. It's got a nice, nice heft to it. Now these speakers are no slouch either. I'm very impressed with what I've been getting out of these in my home theater. Obviously it's paired with a sub and I'll go into that more in my review. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see a review of the Elac speakers as well as the Yamo speakers because both of these are going to be part of the uh, home theater speakers, home theater under $200 series. And the first episode is going to be the ELAC bookshelf speakers whenever I review that because I'm still using them and I'm still doing some other testing in them. And I will be showing you some measurements that come from my Anthem MRX 720 receiver with the Anthem Arc Genesis calibration system. So, so I'll put that back. But there you have it guys, the Yamo S803 I believe, very nice quality, very nice speakers. I'm going to, I'm looking forward to reviewing these because I don't buy bookshelf speakers every day. These are only the third pair that I've had. Well, I'll take that back. These are the fourth pair that I've had. Definitely by far the nicest that I've had. And I'm interested to see how it's going to sound in my listening area. And again, I want to try to find speakers that are around or under $200 for you guys. If you know some speakers that you would like to get on the channel, let me know. I'll do my best. I do have to save up for it because again, I do have bills. I do have a home, but the purpose of this channel is to help you guys out so that you can build your dream home theater because we all have to start somewhere and you may not have the budget when you're first starting and you want to get some quality out of your theater. You don't want to just buy junk and install it. So there are a lot of good companies. There are a lot of good speakers that are under $200 or around $200 that you can get your home theater started and still have a great experience with for you, your friends, and whoever comes over to experience your, your home theater. So again, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. It would greatly help out the channel. If you do that, if you like this video, please like and let your friends know. As well if you have some home theater buddies let them know about the channel because i have a lot of exciting stuff that i'm going to be trying to do and i'm going to be reaching out to some companies to see if they would sponsor that series home theater under 200 so that's the unboxing of the ammo s803 bookshelf speakers stay tuned i'll see you in the next video i'm hater cowboy and this is hater cowboy cinema